You're probably familiar with some of these stats, but others may surprise you. We dug into the college basketball stat books and came away with some crazy individual numbers. Here are seven that stood out. Zion Williamson has a player efficiency rating of 43.09 Player efficiency rating is a catch-all stat meant to quantify a player's value. It's not perfect, as there's more to basketball than the box score. But it does a pretty good job of telling us who the best players are. Williamson has a per of 43.09, which is just an absurdly high number. Last year's per leader, Jock Landale, checked in at 33.74 Check out the full list here, more, 7 teams with second half potential high points John Brown posted a 36.93 per in 2015-16, and that's the highest number since the stats started being recorded in 2009-10. Williamson wows people who watch him every night with the dunks and emphatic rejections. But his statistical profile is even more impressive. There's nothing the guy can't do. Williamson has been the best player in college basketball this season, and one could reasonably argue that it hasn't been close. Taco Fall is shooting 80% from the floor David Butler to USA Today Sports Images The UCF center is 7-6, so his field goal percentage should be high. But 80% is worth highlighting regardless of your inherent physical advantage. Fall has recorded five games this season where he wasn't missed a shot, and three more where he's only missed once. He hasn't missed more than three shots in a game all year. Unless you count free throws, of course, where Fall is shooting 27.9%. He camps near the hoop for a reason. Fall shot 76.7% last year, and he's improved as a senior. He's a great reason to watch UCF play. Fletcher McGee and Matt Frierson are a combined 71 for 71 on free throws McGee plays for Wofford and is 44 for 44, he actually has missed this season, but it was in an exhibition game, so his streak is officially intact. Frierson, who plays for the Citadel, is 27 for 27. More, college basketball stats unsurprisingly, these guys are the both elite three-point shooters, too. Frierson is shooting 43.8% from behind the arc on 10.3 attempts per game. McGee is canning 38% of his tries on 10.6 attempts per game. Perhaps they should stay behind the three-point arc so they can finish the season perfect at the charity stripe. Just a wacky thing to keep an eye on. Yao Morant has an assist rate of 54.6, this means Morant has assisted on 54.6% of Murray State's field goals, excluding his own. Morant is averaging 23.3 points, 6.8 rebounds and 9.9 .9 assists per game. He's an absolute magician with the ball. Kaitaves ranks second in the country in assist rate, checking in at 47.1. If Morant maintains his 54.6 number he will break the record since Ken Palm started tracking the stat, which was in 2003-04. Some other names above 50, you might be wondering. Kay Felder, Chris Dunn, JJ. Larea and Travis Daner. That's some really good company for Morant, who's one of the best players in the land. Ethan Happ has 6 the 5th of October 10 games Happ remains one of the most delightfully weird players in the sport. He's an expert interior scorer and rebounder, but is a total non-shooter. He hasn't made a 3 this year and has connected on 49% of his free throws. You wouldn't expect that guy to be an elite passer, would you? Well, he is. Happ is averaging 4.7 assists per game, a lofty mark for a center. Happ has posted at least 10 points, 10 rebounds, and 5 assists 6 times already this season. He notched a triple-double in the first game of the season, and it feels like he could post another before season's end. Happ's numbers have calmed down a bit ever since Big Ten play started, but he's still been incredible. Outside of shooting, he's an all-around beast. Marcus Howard scored 53 points on 26 shot attempts against Creighton Howard scored 53 points on Wednesday night, and it took about half that many shot attempts to get there. 
Most impressive, he went 10 for 14 from three-point range. It was his second 45-plus point outing in five games, he scored that, many against Buffalo on deck. 2-1 MORE, everything you may have missed from Howard's big night Howard isn't always efficient, but when he is, he'll put up some crazy stat lines. He was chucking against Creighton, but the shots were falling, and getting to the free throw line 15 times helped his efficiency. What a player. Detroit Mercy's Antoine Davis is attempting 12.23 pointers per game. Davis, a freshman averaging 27.3 points per game, is leading the country in attempted threes. The next closest guy is Furman's Jordan Lyons, who's taken 25 fewer threes than Davis in the same amount of games. He has the greenest of lights. Davis is making 41.5% of his triples, which is actually higher than his total field goal percentage. He's consistent, too. When you see the 12.2 average, you figure there might be a game where he's launched 23s, and others where he's more reserved. Nope. Davis hasn't attempted more than 15 threes in a game this season, but he's jacked double-digit threes in all but two outings. He's an awfully fun guy to watch and will become a bigger name as he ages.